All right, can I talk to you more? No. Can I snoop? Oh, snoop. I'm snooping. Okay. Ooh, it's a mirror. Okay. Can't go through there. Can't go through those. Okay, so can I go here? I cannot. I kind of want to shove this in his face. Just see what happens. I can't. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I would have really liked that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, can't talk to you anymore. Games like this, after a while, they're just a whole lot of, uh... Checking to make sure that you haven't done a thing that's unlocked. Progress. That's pretty much it. Okay, I can't talk to you. Eagleton. Was that this guy? Good day, sir. Excuse me for interrupting your work, but do you have any articles in your it's archive? It's that guy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Weicherly's house is close to me, so hold on a second. It's probably something I'm completely missing, which happens often. Upstairs. I tried to go upstairs. It didn't work. I probably just missed the one pixel that would allow me to do so. Can I sit down in a chair? I cannot. Can I go upstairs to my own house now? I cannot. Okay. Uh. Can I call? Can I use my phone? I can. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Eagleton. I've seen Edgar recently. He really does seem very disturbed. Please stay at home. If you don't mind, I'm going to come and see you. We'll be able to speak about it more easily. That's what I was supposed to do. I can Hello, Doctor. I didn't even say to call. You wish to have my opinion. I'm sorry to tell you that I found my friend far from his old self. At first, he didn't recognize me. He introduced me to Dr. Owens, who was even stranger than Edgar. As I was leaving, he seemed to be crying out for help. Then he proceeded to address me formally using a highly outmoded style of language. I am truly mystified. Could you enlighten me as to the exact nature of his research? The first thing Edgar discovered amongst the papers of several Providence families was mail addressed to Gregor Herschel or written by him. These letters had been intercepted by the local population with the hope of finding out what he was up to. Then he found Herschel's work documents. Edgar revealed to me one day that the papers of his ancestor contained some incredible scientific secrets, for the most part written in a coded language, and that he was trying to acquire the ancient arts needed to understand what it was all about. 
He then explained to me that he was scouring the cemeteries for the gravestone of Gregor Herschel, which should bear an inscription made up of mystical symbols that he needed to decipher the manuscript. The odd thing was that I had the impression that he didn't speak freely. I fear that he's under the influence of this Dr. Owens. There's only one way to guarantee his safety, to have him committed. Thank you for your valuable help, William. Continue your investigations, my boy. We need to know what lies behind all this. Although, getting him committed, like in this time period, I assume wouldn't be that great for him. Um, also, in a lot of those places, if you were committed, it's like fucking almost impossible to get the hell out. Oh well. Uh. Okay, can I go inside here now? I can! Good day, Mr. Witcher. Okay. If I may be so bold, I would like very much to look at Edgar's research papers. But of course, come on in. Yesterday, Dr. Eagleton spoke to me of the psychological problems Edgar is suffering from, and which, in his opinion, are partly connected to his studies. On returning from his travels, Edgar generally shut himself up in his room to work, he used to lock himself in and under no circumstances could be disturbed. He was deciphering photographic copies of an ancient manuscript. Then he began to get interested in chemistry and to hang around cemeteries. The acrid odors that sometimes came from his room were becoming truly intolerable. Edgar seemed to have gone out of his mind, letting out shrieks and having conversations when there was nobody there. On the 15th of April, I remember the date because it was Good Friday. Mrs. Wycherley was listening anxiously in the corridor to strange chants in foreign tongues and a series of syllables ending in ya, whereupon she fainted. That evening we had a lengthy conversation in the office, during which I warned him that whatever the purpose of his research, I could no longer tolerate such conduct. It was on that day that he resolved to move to Toxit. His room is upstairs, William. We have left it just as it was on the day he left. Wow. Okay, that's um that's not great. <laughs> Alright, so apparently now I can go upstairs. So I think I misunderstood what the guide said. I'm not gonna read further, I'm just gonna look at what I had scrolled to. Yep, I just missed it. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Yes. Okay, that's the only place I can go. Okay. The light coming out of there is a little weird, but... Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Let's see. There's nothing in there. Ooh. Did I get I got a key. That's helpful, probably. There's nothing in there. Nothing up there. Okay. Well, I got a key. So that's good. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Weird. Okay. Let's see. Can I look at any of you know, that? No. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So, I'm guessing...
Okay. Fancy looking, uh, messy book storage. That whispering is really weird. Okay. Okay, can I talk to you? I can't. What kind of key is that to, though? Can't talk to you. Wait. Anything there? No. Okay. Okay, I had to have missed something. Because, I mean, I got a key. But I, I... I don't have anything for that key to go to. That's a problem. You don't know where to go, so. Okay. Apparently, I took that book. I hope I took that book, because I think I need that book, but hopefully I took the book. So, so one book of importance. Desk with two chairs and the third drawer from the left and get the key. That's it. You're done with this room. And the author of the guide says, yeah, I know. Okay, so I'm assuming the key's someplace in here. Oh, it's locked. This is it really the? It is. Look at that. I'm gonna save because I have a feeling I'm about to die if I don't. I'm going to leave number eight um, undone just so I can tell which number I'm looking at. So, I'm gonna resave over one. Okay. Interesting. That'd be really freaky if suddenly there was like someone right behind me in that. Could you imagine? Okay. Okay, can't go in there. God. Okay. All right. Okay. I see you, drawers. I see you. Okay, got both of these, right? I think that might be all I needed. I'm making damn sure, though. I feel like I'm about to get caught and killed. I think that's it for right in here. Um, what gives you the right to enter my house like this, stranger? Edgar, don't you recognize me? Uh, of course. 
Sorry about that. It's the old memory playing up again. Yeah. Could you just remind me, though, why I asked you to come and visit? Be careful, Edgar. You're poking your nose into terrifying things that are tightening their grip on you. Stuff and nonsense. The world of science is bedeviled by malicious rumors engendered by fear. Edgar, what is the subject of your research? I'm working on the discovery of knowledge that must for the moment be kept secret. Okay. <laughs> its revelation shall herald the dawning of a new era. Are you sure that is for the best? Certain things should be consigned to the past so that the passage of time can erase them. Some things are never erased. And this is no longer simply a marvel consigned to the past. Well, I must return to Providence. Allow me to excuse myself. By all means, give my regards to Dr. Eagleton. Don't lose any sleep on my account. Everything here is fine. Do you just fucking do the Jedi mind trick? Like, <laughs> like the hand motion. I'm like, everything's not fine though, Edgar. Everything is not fine though. Oh no.